Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons and the first question is number of chiral centers in the isoleucine is and you have to choose one of these answers. So what is the definition of the chiral center? Chiral center would be such a carbon in amino acid which is attached to four different groups and you probably know that one of the chiral centers would be uh, carbon alpha which is here. Now let's check to how many different groups this carbon is attached. From this side it is attached to amino group, from other side it is attached to the hydrogen, we also can put it here, so hydrogen can be here, salt would be, it is attached to the carboxylic acid group and the fourth would be to the carbon and hydrogen group here. So all these four groups are different, so we say that this carbon is chiral. Now let's check this carbon, if it's carbon attached to four different groups. On one side it is attached to, to the group of carbon and hydrogen, on the other side to hydrogen, so this is two different groups, on this side it is attached to the carbon hydrogen three group and on the fourth side it is attached to the carbon and hydrogen two group, so all four groups are different so it is also chiral carbon. Now let's check for example this carbon and here it is attached to the carbon hydrogen group, here it is attached to carbon and three hydrogen group or methyl group and it is also attached to one hydrogen on one side and one hydrogen on the other side, so these two groups are going to be the same, so that's why this is not chiral carbon. Hence isoleucine has two chiral centers, this is going to be our answer. And next question, name the carbons in the isoleucine. The rules which I am going to explain you right now apply to all 20 amino acids. Probably many of you would think that this carbon here is called alpha carbon because it is in the center and four different groups attached to it, but actually this is not quite so. The most important group here is going to be this, from the point of view of naming of the carbons, is going to be this carboxylic acid group and especially uh, important group here is carbonyl group here. We call this o carbonyl oxygen and we call this carbon, carbonyl carbon. So this carbonyl group is going to be our starting point. Now starting from this carbon here, any carbon next would be alpha carbon. If this group would have another carbon here to the right, it's also going to be alpha carbon. Second carbon from this carbonyl carbon would be this carbon and we are using Greek letters to specify a name of the carbon, so this is going to be beta carbon, so alpha is the first letter and beta is the second letter. Now take a look, we have another carbon here and another carbon here. It is obvious that we are going to use third letter which is gamma, but how we are going to use gamma to specify this carbon and this carbon. The carbon that is going to be on the main branch is going to be gamma carbon, so it would be gamma carbon one and another carbon that is almost equal to this one from the point of view the distance from the uh, carbonyl carbon would be carbon gamma two, so gamma two. And of course the fourth carbon here alpha, beta, gamma and delta, so delta is the fourth letter in the Greek alphabet. And this is all for today, subscribe and see you in the next video, goodbye.